uh, the Fox class uh, has uh, parts very similar to the Rabbit class. Uh, the difference is that it uh, has um, a find food uh, method uh, and uh, with this uh, the fox is able to uh, um, kill a rabbit uh, that is in an adjacent uh, adjacent uh, uh, that is uh, in an adjacent uh, location to the fox uh, and then there is uh, uh, the method uh, hand which um, makes it able to move and if it cannot move uh, then uh, it um, uh, it is not alive anymore because of overcrowding uh, so uh, there are some simplifications in this uh, uh, simulation that can make this uh, uh, model inaccurate because uh, it mm, uh, doesn't have to be uh, that if uh, if a fox finds uh, a rabbit in an adjacent uh, location then uh, it is 100% uh, sure uh, that uh, it will be killed uh, then also uh, the fox has uh, um, uh, hunger meter or something like that a food level and so um, these um, can be uh, used uh, to determine uh, Uh, if uh, a fox will will kill uh, the rabbit or not um, then also the, the, the gender of foxes I don't think uh, is needed here Also, this uh, rule that uh, because of overcrowding, uh, a fox uh, um, cannot live anymore um, is not really uh, modeling the real world. Uh, maybe is uh, not surrounded by uh, just foxes but also but by um, rabbits so it can eat them even if it do even if uh, the fox doesn't move for uh, some steps it can still uh, remain alive uh, then um, what else? So now, um, if the maximum age of a fox is increased, 
um, what will happen uh, is that it is more likely that uh, a fox um, that the number of uh, foxes will increase rather than uh, the rabbits that will um, uh, will be reduced to zero uh, because uh, the, uh, the foxes uh, die anyways uh, if uh, there is uh, overcrowding uh, so I think it is uh, more likely that the foxes um, will uh, will grow in population before uh, the number of uh, uh, rabbit population gets to zero. Uh, then. To different uh, settings so yes uh, there are some cases in which um, um, a configuration that makes it uh, uh, that some uh, some species uh, don't survive and they get to reduce to zero uh, like in the uh, uh, last uh, paragraph uh, when um, in the last section uh, uh, when changing the breeding probability of the rabbits to a very low probability uh, the foxes uh, all die uh, completely and the population drops to zero uh, but there are uh, some stable configurations um, like uh, uh, the one that is set now uh, uh, by trying it in the last uh, section in the previous section um, it looked like it uh, uh, had this table um, this table um, behavior after some point now uh, let's see to make the area Uh -huh. I don't know what is the default area. Okay, so the width is hundred twenty, so to make it half. Uh, it should be 60 here and 80 here So yes, it seems that there is a, um, a more unstable situation than in the previous case. Uh, let's see more steps. So uh, now the number of foxes doesn't oscillate anymore uh, between uh, 100 and 500 uh, 
uh, numbers. Uh, now it's more like between zero and three hundred, and also the other population changes uh, in a smaller in a smaller uh, interval. Now, what is the difference um, that can happen between two simulations with half the uh, with half the okay Okay. Um, So this is half the area. Let's try the first simulation. It gives around 270 foxes and 1100 foxes. Uh, for five, uh, for the five hundred step. Then, if I rerun it, at the five hundred step, let's see what will happen. This is the second simulation. And there are uh, 260 foxes and 1160 rabbits. So by adding this up, uh, the number of rabbits will be uh, around uh, 2260, 250. Okay, 2,250 rabbits and the foxes uh, before they were uh, how much they were before no, okay, I have to write this down So, 260 and 1,160. Now, second simulation, uh, same uh, 500 steps. And it ends up with 170 foxes and 820 rabbits. So now, um, by returning to the normal size, Oh yes, I can do these simulations in parallel. So uh, I have them here. Oh, perfect. 
so you don't have to write them down. I rounded steps and a new simulation. So, the fox population uh, is 480 in the case of the uh, half-sized uh, fields and it's 360 in the original uh, size of the field. Uh, the rabbits are uh, 1080 plus 120, so it's 1900. Uh, and the rabbits here are 3650. So, yes, a, there is a remarkable change uh, between the two cases. Uh, but now, does it change something if the sizes are even more different? Like... One is one third and one is two thirds. Or let's do one fourth and three fourths. So, um this one will be one fourth so hundred and twenty will be thirty and uh, oh no this is thirty and this one Uh, was 80, so it should be 20. And another one is 3 fourths of the original size. Uh, so this one is 60, and this one is ninety. So what will happen in this case? So here in the one fourth of the original size, uh, the population of uh, uh, foxes uh, has died completely. And the rabbits uh, are 11. Okay, so 
here in this situation if we add all everything up that the number of foxes is 230 and the rabbits is 2920 so there are remarkable changes significant changes uh, if the uh, number if the uh, field is divided and it also changes in uh, with respect to how the, the the field is divided if it is divided into uh, fourths into thirds into halves there are some uh, significant changes related with that Uh, now I want to allow the fox to uh, eat all the adjacent rabbits in the find food, right? No? Which method should I change? The find food, yes. So find food. So it uses field dot rotation rotation. Mm. I should change it here.
basically it should return only uh, at the last moment Ah, I can do it with this. Oh yes. No, I think I'm going to spawn. So now 
a fox eats all the rabbits in the adjacent uh, locations. So now yes, yeah, so there are different ways in which the food level can be updated uh, now now that uh, the, uh, now that the fox uh, eats more than it eats more than one. Um, rabbit, uh, the food level can be updated with uh, um, some of all of the uh, rabbit's uh, uh, food values and uh, this would be an option but uh, in this case uh, the food level um, will increase will be able to uh, increase um, infinitely uh, so um, maybe a, a, a bound can be uh, put to uh, not make uh, that uh, food level grow uh, infinitely um, so uh, with this, the, 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 the impact of this simulation, what will be um, impact of the simulation? Hmm. What impact can you have? Well, so if there is a, uh, this bound, okay, let me read again. Um, Yes, I think that anyways, uh, uh, even if uh, a bound is imposed on the food level, anyways, I think the uh, predator, uh, the fox, uh, will always have a high food level. Um, and this might ruin the uh, accuracy of the simulation says, since uh, it might not be that uh, real um, it may not represent a real case and then uh, the population in an apparently stable simulation can ultimately collapse because uh, one of the um, random elements is um, the is the um, is the um, uh, bird probability. And this uh, percentage can be set in a way that um, this grows. No. Hmm.
So, initial stable situation. And then it collapses. And I think overcrowding uh, will make uh, all the foxes die. So maybe increasing the age and the breeding probability of the uh, rabbit population so that it constantly grows, it constantly increases and never decreases. These will make it able to cause uh, an overcrowding situation and uh, while the foxes still uh, eat these uh, rabbits, in the end uh, there will be so much overcrowding that uh, these foxes uh, will immediately uh, be all uh, um, unable to survive. So the population of foxes will uh, drastically uh, decrease to zero.